Okay guys, this is crazy man. We'll go back up the other way, but it's on the other side of these apartments here. You really can't see it from this street here, but they're all coming in right there. Something exploded earlier. I heard the boom. pretty bad here. It's on one of these back houses back here, down this alley, down one of the driveways. So it's back over here. It's just crazy, dude. Right there. Ooh, something's yeah, something's exploding. They're trying to save these apartments right here. This is crazy. down this this is back house over here yeah, down here it's crazy man and I don't know how it started but Back behind all of this property here. And this is on uh, 15th Street, 15th, just above Avenue D. We'll come back over here. Looks like they've got a pretty good handle on the fire, but man, somebody's property is destroyed. There's a lot of fire trucks here. But they're trying hard to save these apartments right here. And, uh, maybe they can wet down the roof. Something exploded again. Probably a propane tank. It could have been a propane tank. They're doing a good job of saving these apartments. It's the back property, that back house right there. down this roof here maybe it'll help is there a water hose is there a water if there's a water hose we can start wetting down the roof they wet down the roof right there i keep saying it i don't know i'm just thinking to myself out loud um
I don't see a water hose you can wet right there they need to wet down the roof why are you driving through here have the roads blocked off here and here and I have no, another propane tank animal control coming through here and I need to squirt down the uh, roof I think he had a hose to do that with so I think he had a garden hose so what they need to do is squirt the roof down I don't know why I keep saying that guys I'm thinking out loud I'm sorry that guy came through here with a with a water hose. <clears throat> and again, even though the roads closed off on Avenue D at 15, there's nothing to really see walking down there. Uh, we the, the only real vantage point is where we were at. See, there's four cop cars here. So whoever's property that is back up in here, I don't even know what street that is. I mean, there's no side streets there um, that I saw. Let's us off of 16th Street. But 16th Street's quite a ways down. There must be a side street up here. Let's go check it out real quick. Yeah, there must be a side street. Yeah, I don't see one. So here's a police car. Yeah, there has to be, I think, there's a little alleyway over here. Yeah, right where they're at, I think, is the little alleyway that goes to that house. So I'm trying to pinpoint the property. And uh, yeah, it's hard to pinpoint what street that is. It's not Avenue D. We're on Avenue D. Uh, again, this is in Taipa. Yeah, so there's a little drive right here that goes back. So I think it's one of the back properties. Of these these houses here. So again, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure what street that's on. I don't think it's the animal hospital, although that's in that area. They said it's a house, not the animal hospital. Oh. 
Now I'm limping my, this shoe has just totally destroyed my left foot right at the uh, ankle bone. <laughs> I don't know, this is so, got all the Ukaipa units are deployed along with 552, 551, and 553. They're trying to get a handle on it. It sounded like some propane tanks that went up. either propane or welding tanks but they exploded and that's the uh, kapows you were hearing I don't know if I caught it I'm gonna walk back to my car. I gotta get back. Yeah, there's, it's burning, dude. They're trying to get a handle on it as much as they can. Good to see you, Sergeant. All right, as I gotta get back, but uh, there you go. It's uh, Fifth Street, Fifteenth Street and Avenue D in Yucaipa.